Hi, my name is Katherine Cerullo from Stetson University. And my name is Alexis Julian from Norwich University. We have been working with our mentors, Rana Haber and Dr. Adrian Peter on optimizing a recent state-of-the-art machine learning method called Classification by Discriminative Interpolation, or CDI for short. The aim of this project is to improve the computational execution time of the CDI algorithm. This was achieved by a redesigned and paralyzed C++ implementation versus the existing MATLAB program. As a general time series classification technique, some applications of this algorithm are to classify hard data to check for anomalies in devices like pacemakers. We can also examine different environmental aspects to determine any changes, such as monitoring tides. Additionally, we can classify changes in the stock market so companies can make better decisions in their investments. Our research focuses on the representation and manipulation of functional data. It is assumed to have some underlying smooth curve, which can be seen in the time series data example of girls' heights as they age. Time series data are measurements that vary over some discrete or continuous time interval. A few examples are gunpoint, fish, Swedish leaf, and face all. These data sets and others were used as the inputs to the CDI algorithm. After reading in the data and applying any necessary pre-processing steps, the CDI framework has two primary stages, training and testing. On a high level, CDI learns how to warp curves based on the training data so that curves in the same class look more like each other. Then it outputs the predicted label of each curve in the test data set. Here is one example with two curves per class. CDI learns how to warp them to resemble each other and produces a new set of interpolated curves. During testing, a new unlabeled curve is placed and warped towards the interpolated curves from the training stage. The movement or interpolation that produces the least error then determines the label. CDI was originally implemented in MATLAB, resulting in slow execution times and limiting CDI to smaller datasets. For our optimized implementation, we chose C++ to maximize runtime efficiencies. One helpful tool was the Linear Algebra Library Armadillo, which allowed us to operate on vectors and matrices easily. We also identified and removed any unnecessary variables and function calls to reduce the execution time. Next, we paralyzed our code by splitting up each section by class. Then we ran specific tasks on multiple processors, which significantly reduced the execution time in both the training and testing stages. We ran multiple experiments and recorded our results. Here are nine out of the 20 datasets that we ran. The optimal result would be decreasing with each version, which we did achieve in the last four examples on the graph. This was brought to you by the 2017 Multi-RU program sponsored by the National Science Foundation.